Do you know the differences between comets, asteroids, meteoroids, meteors and meteorites? In a few minutes you will. Comets are icy bodies that originate from the distant regions of our solar system, often from the Kuiper belt or the Oort cloud. They are primarily composed of dust, rock, frozen gases and organic molecules such as amino acids and hydrocarbons, leading to their nickname Dirty Snowballs or Icy Dirt Balls. Hmm, yes, it's not the most flattering nickname. When they approach the Sun, the heat causes these ices to vaporize, creating a glowing coma that can be larger than a planet and sometimes a spectacular tail that always points away from the Sun. These tails are the dust tail, consisting of particles surrounding the nucleus, and the ion tail, typically blue and comprised of ionized gas. Comets offer clues about the early solar system and can vary in size, typically ranging from around 1 km to 20 km in diameter. Asteroids are rocky bodies that primarily reside in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Some asteroids are fragments of larger bodies that broke apart due to collisions, while others might be primitive objects that never coalesced into planets. Asteroids are irregularly shaped and come in a range of sizes with dimensions ranging from less than 10 meters to 1000 kilometers in width. Some asteroids are rich in metals while others are more carbonaceous. Meteoroids are small rocky or metallic bodies traveling through space. They originate from comets or asteroids and are essentially fragments that have broken off from these larger bodies. Meteoroids are composed of various materials, including rock, metal and ice. They typically consist of extraterrestrial nickel and iron. Meteoroids can be as small as a grain of sand or as large as a boulder. Items smaller than meteoroids fall into the categories of micrometeoroids and interplanetary dust. Their journey through space continues until they encounter a planet's atmosphere. Meteors are the streaks of light produced when a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere and burns up due to friction. The intense heat generated by friction with the atmosphere causes the meteoroid to burn up, creating a bright streak of light in the sky, commonly known as a shooting star. This phenomenon is visible for a brief moment as the meteoroid is vaporized. Meteors vary in size from small particles producing brief streaks to larger ones creating more prolonged and bright displays. Meteoroids, the precursors to meteors, originate from various sources such as comets or asteroids. Meteor showers, which occur when Earth passes through a trail of debris left by a comet, can provide a spectacular celestial display. Finally, if a meteoroid survives its fiery descent through the atmosphere and lands on Earth's surface, it is called a meteorite. These space rocks provide invaluable scientific insights as they are pristine remnants of the solar system's formation. Scientists study meteorites to learn about the composition and history of other celestial bodies. Meteoroids are composed of the material from the original meteoroid, which can include rock and metal. Some meteorites even contain organic compounds hinting at the building blocks of life. Meteorites vary in size from small particles to larger pieces that can be several meters in diameter. If you want to know everything about what lies beneath Earth's surface and the layers that compose our planet, you should undoubtedly watch this video. See you there!